All right, so we're making a uh, different kind of video, um, kind of behind the scenes. This is a recipe that we've never done, and this is from the cameraman, producer, director perspective. You may never see this video, because there may be some stuff that goes on that you shouldn't see, but here we go. Hi. Welcome to Saturday at the Crazy House. Our house is not crazy compared to a lot of people's. All right, so uh, let's see. It's running. I don't know if you want to do an intro. So, no, no intro. This is Sarah's test kitchen today. This is just a lazy Saturday morning. This is going to be our dinner. I've never made it before. This, I've seen it all over the internet. The recipe that I referenced, I believe, is from My Easy Family Recipes. It's all over. It is a slow cooker steak bites recipe, and it's going to be our dinner tonight. I've never made it before, but it seems very easy and that it should be on the low carb side. So that's why I wanted to try and make it and see if it was something that we could make for CJ's Keto Kitchen. So that's what I'm doing today. All right, and I talked to you into putting it on film. Yes. All right, so what do we got? So I'm going to be using my slow cooker, of course. You're going to need a packet of au jus gravy mix, a packet of onion soup mix, and I'm using the beefy onion. You could just use regular onion, but I thought because this is beef, I would go for the beefy onion. Some beef broth. We're going to use about a cup of that. And then I have just your dirt cheap stew meat, the toughest cuts, but I am a huge beef fan. I'm a beef gal. So I wanted to try this because I love anything that's beefy. So I have about three and a half pounds here of that. And then the last thing you're going to need is about four tablespoons of butter. <clears throat> Why is the butter cut up like that? I'm just going to lay it on top. Oh, okay. Yep. So. The original refer uh, reference recipes that I've looked at didn't brown the beef, but I'm going to brown my beef because I'm a big fan of the Maillard effect. That was named after a French physicist. And it just is the, com the combining of the amino acids and the sugars that gives your meat that brown, really tasty effect. And so I always brown my meat. I even brown my roasts before I put them in the slow cooker. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here in this hot pan. So that was like a Google definition. No, I am a nerd, and I effect. I know about this effect. Okay, I'm just it. I've got some Wagyu beef tallow here that my mom gave me, and I'm gonna put it in the bottom of my very hot pan. So this is a uh, what is this kind of pan? That is a carbon steel pan that carbon you steel pan that gifted I me for Christmas. Personalized. If you want to see. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. So, and I use this for uh, all my steaks and searing meat and so all that stuff. Do you like stuff. carbon steel? Yeah, I like it. It's it's kind of like a cross between stainless steel and a wok to me. So, all right, so I'm going to do my first batch. I'm going to have to do this in batches because I've got three and a half pounds of meat. So, I'm going to put this guy in first. And my pan is very hot. So you washed your hands. Yes. Did you want me to show it? No. Most people. Okay. We get a lot of comments about wash about you know your hands not being washed. People it's the magic of editing. People don't realize yes. that, yes, we're it's, editing it out. We don't show you all of the boring stuff in every detail. That would be like watching paint dry. That's a no. I'm going to have your stove high. This is my iffy burner. Oh, yeah. It's only going to take a minute. See, we're getting, getting some browning going on there. I'm just getting a little bit of browning on all sides. Nothing. We're not cooking it. Obviously it's going in the slow cooker and it's going to cook for like 46 hours on low. So the reason I wanted to use super inexpensive meat is to see how tender this recipe could get it. 
I have used stew meat. I've velvetized it before, which is a Chinese restaurant technique where you um, put baking soda on it and let it sit. I might show that in another recipe sometime. Kind of casual today. Yes, I'm very casual. I'm in my slippers and my leggings yeah. and my comfy sweater, my oversized sweater. Yep, very casual. I don't know if people realize though when you're on video for regular videos that you're just dressed like that because that's what you decided to do. You didn't dress up for it. You didn't dress up for CJ's Keto Kitchen. You dressed up because. So. You just dress like that. I have been like this since birth. You can ask my mother. I worked for seven years in the middle of the night, graveyard shift by myself, and I still dressed nicely in the middle of the night. That's just me. That's who I am. So, no, this is not for the channel. This is Sarah. Although you're kind of casual today. I'm kind of casual today. All right, I'm going to go have a cup of coffee because this is like I can wait Super too long. All right, so this first batch, wait. okay, this first batch of beef is going to go into the slow cooker with the juice. And I'm going to go ahead and put my other batch of beef in it. So, as I said before, I'm using just stew meat, beef, but if you wanted to use actual steak of some cut, especially your tougher cuts of steak, your sirloins and things like that that don't have an awful lot of fat, that would probably be a good option here, depending on what's inexpensive because, you know, inflation is real and groceries are expensive. Inflation is bull crap. <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't made up. I said it's real. <laughs> at least we're being affected by it at the grocery store for sure. Great. Okay, go ahead. All right, I'm going to put this guy in with all of his juices. And I'm going to scrape all the yummy bits off. There he is on the bottom of the crock pot. Okay. So I'm gonna take my au jus mix and sprinkle it over the top. Okay. Are you putting water in this? I guess the cameraman was not paying attention. Oh, sorry. I know you were distracted by my beauty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just clear my throat. Now the onion soup mix. Just sprinkled in. Okay, now we're taking our liquid cameraman. One cup of this guy. And then lastly, we've got our cut up butter. And I'm just putting that randomly over the top. That's it. I'm gonna put the lid on. Why didn't you give, put more, why didn't you put more uh, broth in? So I don't know if you were paying attention when I was browning the meat, but it's releasing a lot of its own fluid oh, okay. just in the cooking process, okay? So that's going to mix with the broth that's in there, the releasing meat fluids and the butter to create a slow cook. So that's what we're doing. All right, lid goes on. I always put a towel over my slow cooker, but you can do whatever you want. I'm going to put it on low and I'm going to let it cook between four to six hours and I'll check on it every once in a while. But the whole idea is to set it and forget it, slow cooking. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. And then for serving, I'm going to saute some baby portobello mushrooms. And 
I'll probably serve it with a little bit of sour cream, almost stroganoff style. And I got egg noodles for the girls, and you and I can have the low-cal, low-carb noodles that I used for the lasagna soup. So, so we'll have some noodles, have it over noodles. Okay. Maybe we can watch another movie, but I don't know if people are going to be blowing and crying like they were last night. We're girls. We cry. It's yeah. estrogen. It was a sci-fi movie. Why can't sci-fi movies be sad? I don't know, I'm just saying. Anyway. Fantasy movies can be sad. No. Never-ending story. Our tech dies, okay? You know, it's Maybe sad. Maybe people didn't know that. I'm sorry. You should. You should know before Same you watch thing, it. Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you shouldn't tell people they're in the movies. That's a problem in our house. Oh, you're going to be all right. You've already seen it. I've never seen the Never End of Story. We watched it together. I guess it made a lasting impression <laughs> on you. Oh, that's what that was? <laughs> Remember with oh. the Luck Dragon and... <laughs> that really... 1984. Come on. They might as well have had the hands. What's CGI that? has come a very long way they, in the last 40 years, it okay? Pretty, it's fine. It's it fine. pretty bad. They might as, I can see the guy's hand holding the little puppet. You could <laughs> not. This guy it was so poor. He'd become very jaded in your old age. You're so spoiled now. Yeah, that was... It's a classic. Don't out. ruin my childhood. I'm sorry, I blocked it out of my memory. It's so bad. Okay. Alright, so it is five hours later. Let's see, let's make it work. Alright, so it's five hours later. And what is this stuff called? Uh, Was there a name for this thing? Slow Cooker Steak Bites is what I've seen. Okay. Online. So this is our version of slow cooker, cooker steak bites. And I have tried it, and it's very good. Alexa, stop timer. Okay. So there weren't any vegetables in there or anything? No. Oh, okay. Why do you need vegetables? It's not stew. I don't know. I just was <laughs> looking at it. It looks like stew. We're adding. Okay. What is this? This mushrooms. is sautéed mushrooms, which is also not a vegetable. It's a fungi. And then... Well, There's... Um, I'm probably going to put a little bit of sour cream on mine, just because it's uh, slightly stroganoff-y to me. And I did this pasta for us, the low-cal, fewer-carb pasta that I've used in recipes before. And then the kids are just having egg noodles. So this is our pasta? Yep. So I'll serve you up, and you can tell the people what you think. I'm gonna get my wig. And you're supposed to do a very low-key taste test. There it is. The slow cooker steak bites. All right, so this is the unofficial taste test of the slow cooker steak bites. Uh, I'm not sure about that name. Seems kind of boring. Anyway, so we add a little bit of a little bit of sour cream to ours. You can see it better on Sarah's plate. I stirred it all together. She's Makes it kind of stroganoffy. Devoured that. Plate. Yeah, I'm hungry. Anyway. And it's good. Yeah. I think it's good. Okay, well, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> anyway, we'll see how it tastes.